The Chinese military may be closer than you think. A group of photos shows China's paramilitary training Cuban special forces just outside Havana. ADN Cuba, a new Spanish-language media, recently obtained this set of photos. In black, the Cuban regime's special forces, also known as the Black Berets. And in green, the Chinese regime's People's Armed Police, a branch of the Chinese military. NTD Talking Points host David Zhang interviewed an ADN journalist and an exiled Cuban author to find out more. They have been chairing private groups like the same organization that has been sanctioned recently by, by the administration. And the photos is, began circulating around uh, February, which is exactly around the same time that the Cuban state press published a story about how the Chinese military was modernizing. According to the press release from the U.S. Treasury Department, the Cuban regime deployed the Black Berets to suppress and attack demonstrators during Cuba's recent anti-communist protests. The Treasury Department sanctioned the Black Berets last week for its human rights abuses. Maybe for around a year, the Cuban regime itself it was uh, telling the, the Cuban people that they were expecting uh, an uprising, un estallido social in, 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 its, in Spanish. So it seems to us that it's pretty clear that they, they, they said it themselves that they were expecting this and they have been training for a long time, perhaps, into how to control these uprisings. China's armed police also specializes in so-called social stability missions. During the Hong Kong protests in 2019, Beijing is believed to have sent the People's Armed Police to suppress protesters. Several diplomats told Reuters that there were as many as 4,000 of them in Hong Kong. Some of the things which, which I think parallel Hong Kong is the fact that the Black Berets at first were not used during the day. They were used at night. Uh, they didn't confront the, the massive demonstrations. They, they identified protesters and then they did house by house searches and raids to pull them from their homes and arrest them. ADN could not confirm when the photos in Cuba were taken, but they did learn the location. This happened 25 kilometers east of Havana in a headquarters called Punto Cero, Point Zero. This is um, a place that has been known by training paramilitary forces that have been deployed into Latin America in the past. Frajela says the Cuban Black Berets were active in repressing dissidents and activists even before the recent protests. She calls on the U.S. to pay attention because all this is happening only 90 miles from our shores.